Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Chopzilla from Plants vs. Zombies. So we're going to start with the inner edge of the mouse. From the top all the way down to the bottom, we're going to draw a curve from the front to the bottom. But along the way, we're going to have to draw a little dip at the top. So we're going to start up on the front here on the right side. We're going to draw a curve going up and then down. From here, we're going to round this part out, going up. And then we're going to round out the side of the mouth to the front of the bottom edge of the mouth. So curving around, all the way around, and then back up. From here we're going to trace this outer perimeter by tapering out so it goes to a point on the bottom and the top and we're going to just keep this consistent line all the way around. So starting at the front here, it's going to curve around, come down, back up. Now we're going to just keep going across and just try to keep it consistently thick all the way around. Now as we get towards the front here, we're just going to taper it in to a point, just like this. From here, let's draw on some teeth. So starting with the top, start on this front edge here, we're going to curve inwards. We're going to curve back up in the opposite direction. We're going to continue this along the top row. And I'm going to just make some teeth that are thicker and some that are smaller. We're just going to continue until we get to the back edge of the mouth. Curving across, we'll do one smaller one here, and then we'll do one tiny one in the back here, and just close it off like that. Let's go along the bottom and do the same thing. We're going to flip the teeth over. So in the front here, we're going to curve up, and then curve down in the opposite direction, and then we'll continue this all the way across, just like we did with the top. And then right here, as we get towards the back, I'm going to do a straight line, because we're going to sort of curve the teeth around. We're going to curve down, and then here on the last tooth, I'm just going to curve up in the opposite direction, and then curve back. Okay, so we got the teeth, we got the lips. Let's get into a tongue. We're going to throw a tongue coming out of the mouth. So we'll start up here by this tooth. We're going to stuff the tongue behind this tooth, curve up, down, and then come up to a point. We're going to go up around here, and we're going to taper the tongue out. So from here, I'm going to get a little bit thinner around those teeth. And just make it to a point at the tip of the tongue. And we draw some stripes along here. So from here, start down here, we're going to draw a curve. I'm going to go up here and draw another curve from the top and curve around. And here we'll do that same curve. And then we'll do another set here. One curve here and one curve there. Now we're going to want to draw in the back edge of the mouth. So we've got the front edge of the mouth. We're going to have to draw the back because the character face is pointing in this direction here. So we're going to go behind this tooth, go in behind the tongue, and we're going to imagine this curve going behind the tongue and then just vanishing off in behind this tooth there. Let's draw in some tonsils, so that little punching bag in the back of the throat. So right here, I'm going to draw a little curve, a U-shape like this. From here, I'm going to curve around both ends in opposite directions, and then I'm going to round out and connect those two points together. So going to the bottom, and back up to the top. We're going to color the inside of this black. Okay, so we got the inner edge of the mouth. Now we're going to draw the head. And the head is basically a big circle. We're not going to see the back edge of it, but we're going to vanish the head off into the back of the lips here. So we're going to start up here, curve around and up to the front of the head. So up this way, we want to draw a curve, goes up, and then just rounds out and just comes in just short of the front of the lip here. We'll do the same with the bottom. So we're going to start down here and curve a little bit of the bottom edge of the head. So curving down so you can see a little bit of the face, and then come up and tuck this in underneath that lip. Okay, from here let's draw in some spots. So up along the top edge of the head we're going to draw some ovals. Starting at the top here, Curve around like this, and then over here we'll draw a slightly bigger one, just like that. Now let's draw the thorns up on top of the head. So there's three thorns that are pointing in the back. So we're going to start with the front, going up to a point. So we're going to draw the biggest one at the front, so draw a curve. I'm pulling the pen towards me because it's easier to pull this way. We'll go back to the top and then curve down towards the head. So it's got this little, almost like a shark fin. We're going to go down and we're going to draw a smaller one. So starting at the top, Curving down towards the head, go back to the top, and then curve down. 
I'm going to, we're going to draw a tiny one right here, so curving down and right back to the head. Okay, so we got the face, we got the head. Let's draw on the leaves that surround the neck area. So we're going to start with the big one on the left side here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start up here and draw a curve from the top, curving down. Now we want to draw the bottom edge of the leaf. And what, what it basically is, it's a little wave that goes up, goes down, and then tucks in behind the head. Let's draw the little uh, veins inside here. So from the middle, we're going to leave a gap. I'm going to imagine a point from here curving to the center between this line and this line. But I'm going to leave a little gap here. I'm just going to draw a curve like this. In here, I'm going to draw a V shape. So from outside, we'll curve into that line and draw an angle line going out. And draw a slightly bigger one. So over here, we're going to draw a straight line going into that line and then going out. Now we're going to overlap this on top of the other leaves behind it. So let's start with the one up on top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here and I'm going to draw a little S curve going up. From here, I'm going to take this point and curve in behind the head. And we're going to do the veins similar to like what we did here. We're going to start up here, curve down in the middle, but we're going to leave that little gap. So curving down, and then we're going to draw that, those two lines that point in towards the center. I'll draw one here. You might see a little bit coming out here. Let's draw a few more coming around the bottom of the head. So we kind of want to turn the leaves so that they sort of follow the contour of the face. So under here, we draw another curve, just like we did up here. We draw a smaller leaf. We draw the little wave that goes up. We draw the center vein line, and then we'll draw the two lines angling in, just like that. We'll draw another one, but we're going to flip it over this time because we're starting to get towards the front of the face. So what we want to do is start down here and draw a wave going down. And we'll curve this up and tuck this in underneath the chin. We'll draw the center vein going towards that point. We're going to draw the two lines and we'll probably just see the edge of one here. And you probably want to see a hint of one back here as well. So starting back here, tucked in behind this leaf. And we'll curve up. You might want to draw a little indication of the vein there. Okay, now the neck stem goes down and goes back and almost does an S shape. It goes down to the bottom here. But along the way, it wears this little medallion in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with that first because it gets drawn on top of everything else. So starting at the top, we're going to draw a circle. Just a very basic circle. Along the left edge, we're just going to thicken it up. So starting up here, just going to go a little bit wider and then come back down along the bottom just to give the, this coin or this metal some thickness. We're going, to, we're going to trace around the inside edge of the circle. So circling around and we're going to draw that leaf symbol at the top. So up here, we're going to start at the top, curving out towards the left and then down. Go up to the top again, curving out towards the right and then down. And we're going to do that little pattern just like we did over here. So a little straight line coming down and then drawing the V in the middle. Now this metal is attached to the stem with vines that go around the stem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the, the stem going out towards the left first. So starting here, it's gonna curve around like this. We're gonna go down the metal on the side here and curve around. Now we're gonna draw a little bit of uh, vine detail. So curving up, two lines like that. Now, the, the stem comes down this way, down towards the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to draw the front profile of the stem. So we're going to imagine it stuck underneath this head here, curving down behind the metal, and then curving down to the towards the front here. Now that we have that in place, we've got the vine coming in this way, we're going to draw it going the opposite way. So back here, you're just going to see a curve going like this, and maybe a little vine detail like that. Now here, we're going to draw the same thing like we did up here in the back here. So we're going to start up here and curve around the stem. We're going to draw two little curves going like this. Now the final one, we're going to draw one coming around this way. Now the stem is quite thick. So we probably want to draw it about that thick going up like this. So what I want to do is I want to start here and curve in like this and curve in the opposite direction for the base of the stem. I'm going to go back up here to this point and curve around and meet up with that point there. And again, we're going to draw a couple lines like this to show some detail. Now this back side of the stem is going to come up and you'll probably see a little bit of it poking through in between those two vines. 
has drawn some dots or spots along the along the stem. So here we're gonna draw one oval. We'll draw a smaller one here, and on the side here we're probably just gonna tuck one in along the side like that. Okay, so we got the stem. Let's get into the leaves. So the base has these two leaves that just sit there and sort of ground the character. So we're gonna start at a point right down here. This will be the starting point for our leaves. So from this point, I'm gonna curve down. This is the front top edge of the leaf. From here, we're gonna come up here, and we're gonna curve up. I'm just gonna close this gap off there. Now we're gonna go back to the starting point, and we're gonna draw the front profile of the leaf. So starting here, curve up, and you see I'm tapering out, and I come to a point like that. From this point, I'm gonna connect to here with a curve, and along the way, I'm gonna stop right there and draw a little notch, just to give a little detail to the leaf and curve back in. Along here, we're gonna do a similar thing to what we did here. We're just gonna draw a little V shape like that. Maybe draw a little line like that as well. Let's go to this side. We're gonna draw another leaf coming up. So like we did on the top here, we're gonna start up here, we're gonna curve up, and we're gonna curve down. We're gonna close this gap off in the back here. Now, like I did on this side, I'm gonna start down here and curve up, and then I'm gonna curve to a point. From this point, I want to do that curve going back to the starting point here. So curving up and then down. Okay, so we got that. Let's draw those little points for the veins of the leaf, like that. Now the fun part, we're going to draw the tentacles coming out, the tentacle vines that come out underneath and behind the leaves. So we'll start with the ones in the front first. So there's four of them, so two on one side, two on the other. So I'm going to start over here and draw one coming out this way. So from this point, I'm going to curve up and then just twirl this around like this. From this point, I just want to taper out from this point and get thicker as I come towards this leaf. So I'm just going to go up like this. It doesn't matter if you match exactly how I draw it. You can make it really thick if you'd like, or make it a little thinner. And from this point, just to make it look like a vine, we're going to draw a couple of angled lines like this. Draw one up here. We're going to draw one going up in this angle as well. We're going to draw one bigger one in the back here, but now these leaves are going to obscure part of it, so we're going to have to draw in behind. So starting at the point, like here, we're going to curl around in behind this leaf. We're going to pretend or imagine it coming back, down, and then behind the stem. We're going to do the same thing now. We're going to taper out, and maybe have to watch. We'll work around the leaf and come down like that. From here, we can draw some of the vine details, the little stripes going across. Maybe one more up here. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the right side. So starting at the base here, we'll tuck it in behind the stem here. So we're going to curve around into the front tip, curving up, and come around to a point. Now from here, we want again, we want to taper out so it gets thicker as we come down and behind that leaf. Up here, I'm going to draw the little lines, angled. Draw one more up here, maybe one down here as well. And then we're going to draw the second one behind it. So we're going to start up here, probably around the same height as we have on the left. We curve up. I'm going to try to avoid this leaf and just swirl around like that. And from this point, I'm going to curl back and then just tuck this in behind this vine in front. So curving around like this. And then lastly, we're just going to draw a few more lines across, maybe one more up here, and that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chopzilla from Plants vs. Zombies. I had a lot of fun drawing this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.